shop. Same car, that's the reason it acts out. This is the imagine finger beam. If you have the finger beam length, then you can start from the here the process. Now I have to bring down to rest here. Yeah. So you will lay first block here, one full size, second block, third block, so on. Then again you stop it somewhere here, then you go also. If there is two people building symmetrically, okay, then same like arches, the last two stone. Should be always intrad of zero millimeter mortar. Extrado you put a one <coughs> stone foot. Like a half inch thick, it's okay, it can fit for this size. So first you lay what first block, second block, third block, after the first joint on top, you put the stone. Three blocks laid after only that foot because the last brick when you lay the joint you put this brick and move this. So you get the pressure, it cannot bear one single brick. There is three bricks load. So basically at least two brick load is there when you put the stone cannot move. Okay. Then fourth bricks, then the second joint. Fifth brick, third joint like this. But in the end, all the joints should be one stone, only one piece is there. Don't put too many to put in inside. Only one single piece, push it till touching the friction. That's it. Okay, the mortar ratio is here again in the soil, six and three. So here now, clay is amount, sand is less. Six and three. Six and three sand. Six and three sand. So this one half of the mortar you have to dilute it. So not the entire mortar, but you need the bottom starting time. You need a thicker mortar on the base because the angle is there. <laughs> hey. Uh -huh. So explain what you are doing, so that you can remember later. Yeah. It's for so you. <laughs> this is a segmented wall. Mm -hmm. We constructed that first. Mm -hmm. And then now we are just uh, building a wall. Mm -hmm. so first layer, second layer. So I am laying the third layer of bricks right now. Mm -hmm. The bond pattern is very important. Mm -hmm. You see the in the first layer I used the full brick. Mm -hmm. Full brick. Mm -hmm. Second layer I used the half brick. Mm -hmm. So that I don't have any split joint here. Mm -hmm. And the third layer, I'm gonna continue back with the full brick, like that. And then it'll just go like that. So this split joint will be covered. Mm. So that's the way you're supposed to lay. And the most important part is you just make sure that it is tilted and is flush with the other ones. Mm -hmm. If it's not, your arch will, I mean, your wall will be like this and like that and like this and like that. It will be very irregular and then your strength, you'll be compromising on the strength. So. Let's start. Yeah, so we're using the thin mortar this time on purpose because uh, you don't have thick mortar. No, it's not because of that. So uh, you apply it on the brick. You apply it on the brick and you press it in. So you need some play initially. Mm. Mm. So that's the reason. So at the bottom, <laughs> so at the bottom you can have thick mortar. It's yeah. okay when you're no, starting. No, you should have. No, at the bottom it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay. So that's the bread and butter yeah, so stuff that you're doing? Bread and butter, I mean, you don't have to get it really thick mm -hmm. because it's going to be a very thin layer of mortar between the joints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so this is the important part. You set it in place. Mm -hmm. And then you go back and forth. You're like trying to like get it in place mm -hmm. and trying to create a very thin layer inside, mm -hmm. and then it should hold, right? Mm -hmm. Once it's held in place, you have all this extra motor. You can use it for the next layer, or you can throw it back in the bin. But preferably, you, you need. Uh, yeah. Okay. What? Preferably, you need more a uh, thick motor over here. Yeah. Because you don't want the sliding to happen. Correct. So you need more thicker motor here, mm. preferably. Mm. So it won't slide that way. Mm. Right? You need thinner motor on the brick mm. so that you can actually it can sli slide. <laughs> slide it and set it in place. Mm. Right? And then when you're sli when you're sliding it and setting it in place, you're maintaining a very thin mortar. Mm. So you need a fluidity. So mm. it's thick. So it's ticking because of the capillary action. Mm. And that is also important. Uh, but you also need to check for the and then Final step. This is the aluminium rod. This is the... <laughs> Damn, I forgot what this is called. <laughs> I'm calling it a straight rod, straightener check rod, or continuity check rod or something. Mm -hmm. Just to check if your series is straight, right? So what you do is you set it 
at the midpoint. And at the very bottom one, you are just checking it, that it is flush with the, the bottom stone of the wall. Right? And clearly it's not. So I'm going to move it down a little until it's flush. It is. So now it's set in place. Now I can go to the next layer and then next layer and next layer and next layer and so on. I dip the brick in the water before doing this. Okay, so I'm setting the next brick in place right now. Mm -hmm. Make sure you dip the drip, uh, drip the brick, <laughs> dip the brick in the water, right? And then you'll apply your butter. That's the batter. And you do the same thing. Peanut butter fan. And you see, oh, I'm rubbing it in. Once you rub it in, you have all this mortar coming out. Make sure you catch it so you don't lose it. So you can use it. Yeah. You wasted a lot of mortar. I wasted a lot of mortar. Even I wasted a lot of mortar. Right. See, it's all wasted. We're total amateurs. Yeah. Trying to do something. So, and you do the same thing. Okay, let's see. At this point, we are able to see if it's straight with the rest of the arch, or rest of the wall. Okay, there is some gap. So I'm going to push it down a little right? and you might also want to tap on it so that it sticks and doesn't become an e uneven layer like this one so I'm tapping it a little like of not course too you hard. To but you have to maintain the thing maintain what? With the thick the yeah you have to maintain the you have to make it even right see these the bricks are not even to begin with that's what's causing one of the problems maybe this is a thicker brick compared to that see it's already thick and then, yeah, you have to tap it a little to make sure it's about the same length. Mm -hmm. And the final step is, you lay one more layer of brick. Mm -hmm. And after that, you come back to this mm -hmm. one. You know, and put some stone You put chip. a stone chip in it. It's like about that size. This size, which is about the width of this joint, right? So this stone chip do? It will help in keeping it in place. That it won't fall back. Mm -hmm. It also adds strength mm -hmm. to the joints. It's a it's a couple of reasons. So it's a very small stone chip mm -hmm. that fits in place. And I'm trying to find the right size. So you can actually go in. Right, that's it. Now it in. Make sure your alignment is not getting misplaced because of that. Mm -hmm. You can double check it one more time. To see if it's good. It is good. It is almost good. Move it down a little. That's it. There you go. Now you're ready for the next one. Mm -hmm. So should I? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Stop. 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 Now I can say architecture is magic as well. That's cool. Literally. Now I can believe. That's why. Without more Now, you can go home. That's right. From that side now. Okay. There is a guy who was hanging. He's not we were hanging, it's not falling. They bet. <laughs> I know how to make, uh, three, three more. make so play hooks now. After two, three days of try. Yeah. <laughs> 
So everybody wants to know exactly the size internal should be exactly the cap what is required. No gap at all. The brick should be touched in the bottom. Not make it loose, build with the water. If there is bigger thrust up here, this brick get loose once it go down immediately, then this can collapse. So if it is tight, the friction, the load is diverted to this direction. Never go down very So now you're putting in a stone, all the joint there is a stone, so put it tight. So you don't put it here, you should not disturb for the next post. Mm -hmm. The motor can do it. Always put it from the top surface here mm -hmm. to tip with the fingers. But you just put it over here, no? Yeah, you just went in. He knows what to do. For your case, you are putting in like a few millimeters sticking out. Yeah. When you're putting next bricks, that brick will be out of proportion. Always maintain the post should be very, very difficult. Sometimes when thicker motor, thinner motor, the line will be not safe. Then you have to adjust with a more thicker motor, mm -hmm. that doesn't work properly. Yeah. So now it started from the bottom full size, now alternate the course with the half. Now we start the half, then full full, then. So for example here, you put the half size. Next, there is the two half sizes put in. So next time when you come, it will come here in the middle of the bricks. Then you have to maintain to keep the joint this middle of the half size. So now, <coughs> like that. We, whatever see, if there is a two pieces, you have to put this big. So if you are putting half size, only one single half size here, when you coming, then that is coming middle of this joint. Then again, it will, the joint is very close. So then the pressure, it may do vertical cracks here. So if there is half size, okay. Don't put less than half size bricks, smaller bricks. The joints will become very narrow. Half size, okay. If you feel, okay, this is uh, half size, one single piece, okay. Next time, then you use two, three, four size. Or less than half size coming, okay. This is the gap, you're getting it here. What do you do? I will not use this smaller bricks. I will remove the previous one and use two, three, four. Or that can adjust bigger than. Clear? Instead of putting less than half size, you put a two, three, four. That can work. Minimum you can do half size, not less than half size. It will stay when you build less than half size. But in the end, when it start cracks, the joints are very narrow. It will go vertical across. The they laid two stones. And the third and fourth, they are just laying it halfway up. Right? And they're finishing, he is finishing them up basically, slowly. And he's laying, he's going on to the next layer. He's just laying them half, half, half. He's going to do the same thing on the other side. So what it does is it adds strength, it adds base strength. So when you're at the top, mm -hmm. you have good base to provide you with more strength to hold the bits in place, basically. Okay. And this is what we were taught in the class, right? They said, uh, yeah, it would reinforce the whole bolt and um, I guess I just believe in Lara now. She believes in Lara. <laughs> we all believe. <laughs> now we became a cult. Lara comes. Cool. That's it. Thank you. This is the vault. So you can just continue with the walls like this.
You don't stop throwing your balls around, bro. <laughs> Keep them in. Keep them in, bro. <laughs> it's very irregular in shape, the way I see it. It's cracked, bro. <laughs> I got it. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that's half. That's balls. <laughs> okay. So